you know what, you guys? I'm not too happy with the butterfly I had right here. I just want to have you just wipe it off. The good thing is it was fresh, so I could just wipe it off right now. We're going to do another hummingbird because I saw how small the hummingbird was, and I don't think you guys got to see how I did it. So we're going to do it again. Before I do that, let's get some linseed oil. I'm going to try to hurry up. Just so that I could do a little bit more of the, um, that. Okay. Well, also because that kind of, a little bit of cover where I had the, um, butterfly. And then I'm just going to use a soft brush to kind of blend it in. There we go. Alright, so we have that. Now we're going to add, we're going to do the hummingbird, okay? Let's go over here. So we're going to do the shape of the Hummer. I need to have my paints closer. Okay. I have seen Hummers on my hummingbird on this butterfly bush. So we're just going to do this little head. It's a little body. There's different sizes of hummers. Now, I'm going to remove some of the white because I want this little belly. Some in the tail. There's different colors, little hummers. Let's just reach out a little bit right here. Right here. Sure that you can kind of tell where this little body's supposed to be. The little dots kind of make it look like it's hair. All right, the eye. Then this beak. I'm just actually up to show a little bit of a highlight on him because he is the top is the, the light. So I am doing that. Stitch it up a little bit. I'm putting a little just a little bit of white on him.
You guys might be like, Carmen, leave it alone. I have to excuse my angle. There we go. All right, so there's a little Hummer. I hope you guys were able to see him. Um, let's do a little eye. There we go. So, and uh, so we'll wait for them to dry and we'll do the energy, okay? Thank you, guys. Hi, you guys. It's the next day, and uh, I'm just going to add a little bit more on her. So I have a little bit of a gray belly bun on right here. And um, I'm just going to add some flowers that kind of come down to kind of give a little bit more interest. I painted these before in another painting. So just like little flowers that come down. And I'm just doing it very, 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 very lightly. Very gently. There's all kinds of flowers that kind of look like they're raining down. Those are my favorite. I like that fantasy feel of things. And I'm just doing it very, very, it's not like I'm adding a lot. I'm just doing like little dabs. Make your flowers. Everybody's got a certain way of making flowers. And the reason I'm just going very light is because they're supposed to be in the background. Just to give the suggestion that there's something back there. I don't want it to um, take from her. I could add a couple highlights. Just if you happen to live in a tropical area, you're lucky. Because you have more access to more flowers than if, you know, See, that's too dark. I'm gonna bring just a couple of them down, like a just very lightly brushing it. mirror behind me and while I'm looking back there.
For some reason, these flowers that, that kind of hang low, they're my favorite. My neighbor has the, the little hard ones. I'm not even putting any pressure on it. It's very lightly. The ones that I want in the background, it's very lightly. Crush, crush, crush. The ones in the foreground just very flat. I'm going sideways for the ones in the foreground. Because if I add too much detail on these, what's going to happen? Your eyes may get drawn to that. Let's see, I don't know if you this. See, I did it so light that I can go back. Let's see. I can go back right there. And we do it. Like I said, I do want just a couple highlights. Just a couple. For some reason, I was like doing them a bit towards the bottom. There's some in the background, just want to give the illusion. Still giving that illusion. Just because this is like that doesn't mean there's nothing there, so. I'm seeing how it looks through the mirror. You might be like, um, yeah, Carmen, I really don't see it, but it'll look. We'll see it. So we're going back and forth to get a little distance. And, uh, I scrub it a little bit harder. It kind of takes away a little bit of that pain. Right here, just what I'm doing is I'm just creating a little depth. Just a little bit. By putting it in the dark. I'm blending it in a little bit to give the illusion of a little bit of distance. Always looking back and forth, always. Just do, 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 do. Just do it again. There we go. All right, I always think of that comedian. Try some more. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's 
it's just looking too light in there. You know, sometimes by changing the direction of your stroke, the light hits it a different way. Just have buttons. Sometimes you can go like this, the light hits it a certain way, up, and then away. It's looking a little bit better. It was kind of looking a little bit like it was missing something. Um, so I'm also going to give it the illusion of a stem because these things have to be hanging from somewhere. Stem maybe. Put another light on top so you can see better. Hopefully, it helps you guys see a little bit better. There. All these little things to grow. Okay, so sometimes too when you put things in here, things change in here. So I'm trying to see how they, um, how she looks, how she relates. Um, let me see. I'm gonna do a little bit lighter highlight right there. See how she looks. Right. I feel like it's right here. Oop. Some of that black is coming through. Take it off. A little bit of um, raw umber. Come on. I need to, I, I'm like trying to figure out paint and I can't. There. It's more like a chocolatey white. There we go. She's not in here too. Of course the nose, when everything that protrudes out a little bit, always gets Little highlight. Definitely see it right here. All righty. Kind of wanted to do a Hummer in the background, kind of the same way. So I'm just going to give the illusion. My mom, she loves hummingbirds. That's probably why I like them so much. So I'm just doing this little body. Don't you remember how they look? I see plenty of them. They look like little penguins to me. Little wings. Many, many sizes. They come in many, many sizes, so you can do Whatever you like before. It's just in the background. And the little eye right there. It's the make. Right, do my little hummingbird wings. Down here. They look, how is it? They look like mermaids. They look like mermaids. And it's got it around the neck too.
right. Trying to take off this. It's going to be really lightly, just very, very, this one's the biggest one. Or, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be the background, maybe you don't want to put a lot of focus on it. Do that. You just, uh, this kind of blend into it. And, uh, is it too much to ask for? Yeah. Maybe this one will work better. This one's practically left just one hair in there. Wow. I wonder if I've made a better this one. That's a bad sale. I usually just buy stuff that's on sale. That's what I do. If you ever see a hummingbird, their eyes are kind of like pointy. I'm surprised that's something very crazy. Okay. Mm. Every time I do that correction, it bleeds into this. Let me get the other one. I have all kinds. Some brushes. I'm like, uh, which one? Which one? There's like four that I usually go through. Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh my god, over to I see that. It's not how I ruined it. See, I kept messing with it. Do not ruin it again. Is that little eye that's getting at me? Let me just kind of blend it with my finger. And I know what I got wrong. See the beak? It's wrong. I just set my... The beak is wrong. I'm just moving it up upwards. That's what it is. Blending it. I'm blending it in there. Um... Perfect earlier, didn't I? I just, you get to see me make mistakes. I'm like, that's the thing, you know. You notice. 
there. I also know what I think I'm doing the head. Let's do the head all over again. There. Mm-hmm. 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 And then... When my mom came, she was all like, she really likes the hummingbirds. She was like, oh my god, look at the hummingbirds. Okay. Let's do a prayer before I do this. <laughs> right? Uh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do, do, do. We have palette knives. Sometimes the palette knives, they help you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I just took the paint off with the uh, palette knife. And there you go. So I really like it. I like how it's looking. Um, I think one thing that bothers me is like she's supposed to be standing on that. And yeah, that was bothering me. Let me see. Because when I gave it shade, I kind of made it black and, you know, these are... To make it more believable. Reflective light. I did say I wanted to put energy. Basically, we did it the same way. Where? I need a little brush. Here, this brush. So we get a little bit of linseed oil on this, a little bit of white and gray. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry it, just dab it. And I'm just very lightly twirling it. I want the attention to go to her. So let me see how it looks. Very lightly, I'm just dabbing it in there. Dabbing, 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 dabbing. Everything is energy. Dabbing the energy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus it. So you can see I'm just going in circles, adding a little bit, a little bit, a little bit at a time. Because if we all of a sudden want to do a lot, then what's going to happen if you put too much paint? gonna be like a guck of something and we don't want that so let's do that let me see oops okay so i'm just putting a little bit there you can barely see the difference and that's good because when you see light or smoke or anything like that it's very subtle until it starts getting closer you want to make it subtle you can do like that so gently just very gently you don't even press hard on it. And to me it's like twirling towards her. So very, very, very gently. Okay. It's all about patience. I want it all to come towards her. I can even do like those strands. Grab a paint brush. If you want to blend a little bit in there. Not, not so much blend, but soften. And now we're going to put another layer. You can wait till it's dry, or you can start little by little. It's okay if you let some of that glow come through. Because I want the attention to go towards her. She is our focus. Dab your paintbrush if you want a little bit.
Leaving up there. Very, very, very gently. So you're creating this illusion of smoke, energy, whatever you would like to call it, fantasy. here. I might do like a, another butterfly or a hummingbird or a dragonfly. See how it's looking? Then if you want to, grab a different size brush, whatever brush you could like, you can add like little specks of light. Different sizes, of course. I don't know, back here, right? Kind of some that lead. Maybe this way. Grab a different size brush. You can even put one inside the other. Well, that's this brush. Um, this is thinner brush. Make it a little bit wider, a bit wide. There's light within the light, the energy. Put one back here. Here. See how it's looking? And I'm going to just one right next to it. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next one. We want to be you know, like saying, you know, this needs a little bit more light. See what it looks like? Having a little bit more cloud light. See? Maybe let's say, um... I want to add some more right now so I don't forget and go for it. See how it does it? Very, very lightly. Patience. I told you, once I started taking my time with my paintings, I noticed a major improvement. Plus, practice makes you get better. So, my, my biggest thing is to ask you guys to, yes, paint fast and helps you learn to see um, the picture quickly. If you, if you do paint fast, but, um, most artists, once they're done doing their little, like, a uh, study, quick sketch, you know, whatever they do, like, if they're outside, I've yet to paint outside. If you do, you see color better. I'm going to show you guys an exercise how to see color better. Um, but a lot of artists do. They'll go outside, do a quick study, come home, and take their time on it, you know? Redo it, do. So, see how it's looking? This is another, there's a flower down here, and that also needs energy. So, the reason I wanted to do the energy and the flowers and everything, I, I love going outside in my garden and seeing the flowers, and it just makes me happy and to see the hummingbirds and the butterflies and the dragonflies and all that cool stuff. It just makes me really happy, and everything does radiate an energy. If you might not see it or not believe in it, though, it still creates some sort of energy around you, making you happy. That created a happy energy. I relax. I like, I like to go and relax and just let go and release the stress of the day so it animals and plants and everything you know they do make us react and who doesn't i know i love looking at flowers and just everything that's going on around them it's nice to see beautiful flowers but to see a butterfly come by just changes the mood to see a dry um a hummingbird or to see um there's moth hummingbirds to see all kinds of things it just changes your mood and makes you happy so we're going to continue on that um i know my camera is about to run out of uh, battery so 
we'll come back and do the rest.